Hi girlfriends, welcome back to the Girlfriends Club. I'm gonna do another counter to table meal today and we're gonna focus on a dessert. It's a real great summertime idea and it's called blueberry cobbler. And all you need is five ingredients. The first thing you need is a stick of butter. The second thing is a cup of milk. Third, cup of sugar. And one cup of, I use Presto all-purpose self-rising flour, and it's important that you use self-rising flour for this particular recipe. And one cup of blueberries. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna microwave a stick of butter for about two minutes and get it nice and soft and melted. So now that the butter is melted, we're going to fix all the other ingredients. First thing to add to your bowl is the sugar, flour, and a cup of milk. So what you need to do is whisk it together so it's blended until very smooth. Um, I recommend not using a hand beater, but to literally whisk it. The hand beater makes it too smooth and you want it to have a little bit of a thick consistency and it's okay if it appears to be lumpy because the lumps from the sugar and the flour will come out in the baking. But once it's blended like this, you're going to pour it very slowly into the center of the butter. And you'll see as it's being poured in, it's pushing the butter to the outer rim. And make sure you get it all using a spatula out of the bowl. So what the butter does is that it wraps itself around the flour and creates this incredible crust, which you'll see after we bake. Then you're gonna use a cup of blueberries, which are very much in season right now, and sprinkle them all over on top of the mixture. Be very careful as you're plopping them so you don't get the butter splattering back on you. And for other ideas, you can use raspberries, sliced peaches, blackberries, um, those are probably the best ones to use. I don't recommend using apple because apples have too much water in them and the cobbler doesn't bake as well. So here is the finished product. And now I am going to put it in the oven. I'm gonna bake it on 350 for about 35 minutes. Once it's nice and golden and there's a little bit of a darker edge crust that's formed, you'll know that it's done. It's been about 35 minutes and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna grab it out of the oven. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is what I was talking about, the dark crusted rim. It is just perfectly browned and it absolutely smells amazing. It smells so good that um, I'm planning on serving it uh, to my family tonight after dinner, but I'm just gonna take a little taste right now so I can show you what it looks like on the inside. And it is very warm. So you can see it has a cake-like consistency on the top and all the blueberries are on the bottom. And here we go. Ready? Mmm. So girlfriends, I highly recommend you making it this summer. I'll make sure that I leave all the ingredients and the recipe below. And if you like this segment, please like and share my page. And I'll see you next time on the Girlfriends Club. Keep sparkling, girlfriends.